The other half of Writers of the Future is Illustrators of the Future. Among the judges, Bob Eggleton, Vincent DeFate, Stephen Hickman, and the all-time grandmaster, Frank Frazetta. While the Writers of the Future contest was launching careers of the writers, I'm of the opinion that Mr. Hubbard wished to do the very same for the illustrators because he felt the two could not live independently. Just like Writers of the Future, Illustrators of the Future quarterly winners get an all-access pass to the exclusive annual Illustrators Workshop. They get a chance to meet world-class artists, people that are working in the field, professionals, that can say, here's what I had to do to get here. To meet professional illustrators who have made a living at it, it's just a big thrill, it's very exciting. It gives them an inspiration and they get absolutely first-grade advice. We give real good guidelines about art directors, about directions to go, and, and publishing industry that, that will help you so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. If there's anything I can say that would propel them toward their goal, that's my job, and I love doing it. They don't teach this in college. They don't teach this in art school. This contest is unique. From the first day I meet them, when I shake them up, I give them my secrets and my contacts. Gibbs has inspired me to do a lot more work as an illustrator, because whenever you talk to a professional illustrator who's made it, you see the amount of work they do, it just makes you want to work that much harder. We have several uh, finalists who have come out of this contest to go on to be world-class, famous artists. There was a young man from the Soviet Union, and he won the winner of the illustrator's contest. He was a young man named Sergei Boyakov. And when he won the contest, he was the Gold Award winner in 1991, he threw up his hands in a gesture of elation. Thank you, my dear friends. Thank you, America. Thank you, Los Angeles. Thank you, Ron Harbert. Thank you, all, me, all my friends. And I sat there and thought, yes, yes, that was, that was the fruition of L. Ron Hubbard's vision for this contest. That's what he intended it to be. Of course, it was a very special feeling. That was, that time, highest bar I ever could imagine to get. But even better, 10 years later when he came back, and here he is, this wonderful, you know, strong character, has created his own persona, and everybody goes, wow, this is so great to see what's possible, what you can come out of this with. Now, before the workshop even started, each illustrator was given a chance to illustrate a story for the final anthology. At the end of the seven days of workshops, the writers and illustrators will meet for the first time. It's kind of a guessing game. All the illustrations were done anonymously, so now the writers have to figure out which one goes with their story and the illustrator behind it. What he did is perfect. It's everything that I imagined it would be uh, an end of This is really enjoyable. Really it's really, brilliant. brilliant. This is my story. And I, uh, this is my story right here. When you have a story that is illustrated, you have a situation where the total is greater than the sum of the parts. This is what Mr. Hubbard talked about when he referred to a creative synergy. Each alone does something, but together there is a magic there. This is the big night. Uh, this is when everything happens. Everybody's looking great. This is brutal. A little bit nervous, a little bit of butterflies, but uh, everybody's going to be all right. I'm looking forward to the night. I'm nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. Whoever wins it, it's going to be great. This is amazing. This is actually one of the cooler events of my life. Thank you all for coming this evening to our 21st Elrond Hubbard Achievement Awards for the Writers and Illustrators of the Future Contests. Please welcome Michael Brenner. Cornelius Cockrell. Aaron Hendrick. Please welcome Lon Freeman. 
from my home country, the Cats Farm. Please welcome Michael Livingston. Please welcome Boris M. Clayton. The L. Ron Hubbard Gold Award for Illustrator of the Year goes to Eric Valdez Elas. Thank you very much. The L. Ron Hubbard Gold Award goes to John Showstall. Thank you so much. I am so honored. I heard my name called, my mouth went dry, my heart fluttered, my limbs trembled. Um, I was uh, able with great difficulty to walk across the stage without collapsing. Uh, I, I, was, I was flabbergasted. It was a huge surprise. I mean, I just felt my heart beating and that was it. And I hope it just goes onward and upward for as long as possible. I have faith that it will. The bonding and the friendship that we had in this week and the working together and the having fun together and experiencing the whole thing together was unforgettable. On one hand it's been exhausting, on the other hand it's been exhilarating. The vision that I've been kind of working towards my whole life is slowly manifesting itself and it's amazing and inspiring and, and terrifying and, and beautiful but more than anything it just really reaffirms my belief that this is what I love. I think it was probably tonight that I decided I wanted to become a career professional science fiction writer. And I don't think I knew that before I came here. Having people ask me for my autograph is, I've never had that before. I mean, they really want my autograph and they're going to read my story. It's not anything I can comprehend at this point. Just, I just can't get around it. Mr. Hubbard, your vision for this contest came true. It was exactly what you set out to do, and it's done so much for the writers who've won, for the illustrators who've won. So thank you very much and congratulations. This, you did it. <laughs> <laughs>